Was that Vladimir Putin in the halls of U.S. Congress? Not quite, but Representative Jared Moskowitz, a Democrat from Florida, did put on a Putin mask today and walk into a House Oversight Committee meeting to protest the proceedings. Let's watch. Congressman, Congressman can you explain what you're, what you're wearing? Oh, I just came to thank James Comer for taking all of our intelligence and using it in the committee. Maybe he can come see the technology in our grocery stores. Thank you. Congressman. Moskowitz was evidently trying to make the point that Russian intelligence had supplied the, uh, the intelligence undergirding aspects of the Hunter Biden investigation. I was sad he didn't do the Russian accent as well to accompany the performance. <laughs> Hunter Biden and his dad are still in the GOP's crosshairs. Let's take a look at what went down at the hearing today, which Hunter Biden did not attend. He called members of this committee liars, and I just want to know whether the order and decorum requirements of House Rule 11 apply to witnesses appearing before the committee. Uh, do, do the, does it apply or does it not? The House moves to the next phase of its impeachment inquiry against President Biden. Hmm. The Republican chairman of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer, has signaled interest in another direction. He's eyeing criminal referrals of Biden family wrongdoing to the Justice Department for possible prosecution. According to Comer's opening remarks that Fox News Digital obtained, the committee has not found evidence that the Bidens sold any products to their business partners. The chairman said, quote, the Bidens don't sell a product or a service or a set of skills. The Bidens sell Joe Biden. Witness Tony Bobolinsky, a U.S. Navy veteran, Jason Galanis, who will testify from prison, where he's being held for defrauding a Native American tribe, and Lev Parnas will go before the committee. Devin Archer was invited, but is not expected to show up. So this is continuing. Uh, so the, the Jared Moskowitz thing, this is a reference to the FBI's recent claim that um, one of the uh, people whose, whose testimony had been relied on by the Republican side uh, turned out had had conversations with Russian intelligence. So that was his way of saying, this is all, you know, Russia has caused all of this, ha, 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 which, um, you know, fine, the FBI has made that claim about that specific individual, and uh, I presume they can bear that out. Um, you know, wh whether the entire inquiry into Hunter Biden whatsoever is Russian orchestrated, frankly, reminds me of the incorrect assertion that the laptop itself had some kind of Russian origin. Maybe he could have brought a laptop in to sell that point home. Yeah, look, sure. We all know uh, that we have our frustrations with Russiagate, yada, yada, yada. Everything's Russia. But here's the problem. Russia, Russia, Russia. This is not the first time that the witnesses that uh, Republicans have brought forward to try to discredit Joe Biden, or not just discredit him, but to tangibly link he and his father together in some kind of pay for play scheme, have themselves ended up being so unsavory as to get more attention and more backlash than the accusations that they are allegedly putting forward here. So you've got this lineup of witnesses. You've got J this Jason Gallinus character who is uh, going to be testifying from prison because he defrauded a Native American tribe. Um, you had or the because Archer the deep state fiasco. got him. <laughs> okay. You know. Look, at the end of the day, what this seems to be a lesson in is in how many corrupt entities are swirling around members of Congress one way or the other, but not necessarily that there is an implication that Joe Biden, well, there might be an implication, but yeah. any proof not, not that Joe Biden. Not just around in Congress, but occupying the halls of the government at the top levels. Yeah. Yeah, and occupying the uh, Rolodexes of the Republicans that are trying to lay something on or pin something on Joe Biden right now. So if the lesson here is that congressmen are corrupt, I think Americans have gotten that message. And I think that they would probably much prefer that a bipartisan caucus of people got together and tried to do something like, I don't know, campaign finance reform or to stop uh, Congress members from being able to do insider trading. But instead, we get this. And I, I want to ask you this question. How... Deep, do you think this particular narrative is penetrating into the voting Republican public? How influential do you think? We, we, we've been going back and forth with all of these names and the details of this whole rigmarole. And the average voter, it seems to me, can barely tell you who the vice president is, much less, and I don't mean that disrespectfully, but people have things to do, much less follow, this, follow the ins and outs of whether or not there's evidence that's actually been adduced in this impeachment hearing, or that there's an, an impeachment hearing going on at all. Look, I don't think the Republicans have managed to advance the storyline here much beyond um, we have, there, there's evidence that, I mean, Hunter Biden was involved in these foreign business dealings, and those foreign business dealings were interested in 
paying him, employing him in order to get to his father in some way for financial reasons or policy reasons. That did happen. Um, there were meetings, there were, and it went beyond what the media claimed, which said, no, there's nothing to see here. Biden has no knowledge of this. He was never at the same dinner, never did the same phone call that we now know is not true. So it's a, so it's a media story. And that also the initial, what do you mean Hunter Biden's sure. corrupt? All of this is a Russian plant. That all, again, we, we got the storyline to that point. Republicans have not succeeded in getting it any further than that, in saying, oh, here's the evidence that Joe Biden was involved in the corruption um, on, on his side, that he was a willful, I mean, that he was a willful participant in anything. That's what the people on the other side wanted. They haven't gotten to that point. Um, now, I, I still think the attempts to shield Hunter from further um, investigation or criminal wrongdoing with respect to the sweetheart deal that even the judge rejected continues to look very suspect. But really, that's just on Hunter Biden, right. not on Joe. It looks so suspect. It looks suspect. Look, you know what else looks suspect? Jared Kushner getting a two billion dollar private equity deal from Saudi Arabia after his his father-in-law leaves uh, leaves the White House. Because that is that's not Well, suspicious. it is suspicious. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, if this well, is a conversation about how corrupt. Congress is, how corrupt uh, Washington is, 100% absolutely. And, and there is some benefit, I think, to Donald Trump for that becoming the conversation. If it stops being Donald Trump is corrupt and starts being everybody is corrupt, yeah, that's an improvement in, in, to the mean. But at the end of the day, how much is, is this going to be a controlling issue is the in question. In the election, I'm asking. sure. I don't, I, I think it's. Especially when it starts to, I think it starts to look a little bad. If you, you're right, they advance mm -hmm. the story a certain degree. And I think the kind of media cover up was worse than the crime aspect of this was persuasive and helps Trump in other ways because he's seen as, it, it cuts against the Democrats. We're saving a democracy. We're the Democratic ones narrative. If they're the ones that are perpetrating absurd kind of media hoaxes, pulling people down off of Twitter, doing what they did over the weekend, which, which is to make a mountain out of a mohill out of that um, bloodbath comment. I think that 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 militates in Trump's favor. But I think I do believe that the longer this goes on, the more exhausting it becomes and the more it might have the effect of, frankly, just suppressing voter turnout because it looks like, OK, fine, I agree. Washington is corrupt. Why should I participate? Well, Voter, suppressing voter turnout. And this is an issue for the Republican base. Conservative media covers it constantly. It, 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 it matters to very conservative, to MAGA people that, that whose perception is that Trump has been treated very unfairly by law enforcement, by administrate, an administrative state out to get him on minor things and intent on putting him in prison over things everyone has done. That is the that is partly the MAGA position. So they want Joe Biden to go after to Joe Biden's son standards. for minor things yes. and do the exact same thing. Yes, look, the deep I, state cannot I, I, be I weaponized get that. in one direction. That is their perspective. Right, but remember, remember, there was this housing moment where the argument was that the deep state should not be weaponized. Period. Not that I want to do the bad, corrupt thing from my side, too. Well, I yeah, Trump didn't deliver on that. He was president and did not defund or or d redirect the mandates of any of these. Organizations. I remember when you know, fi remember FISA court reform has come up when it, it, it became pretty clear that yes, they had uh, abused that to uh, spy on that one um, campaign associate whose name escapes me at the moment. I can picture what he looks like. But uh, but yeah, it was a very egregious case of wrongdoing. And then it was like, oh yeah, we gotta do something about this. And then the Patriot Act gets reauthorized. Carter Page, Carter Page that's it. Then it gets reauthorized, uh, you know, in like a, you know, 400 to two vote with Thomas Massey's lone dissent. So it's, and you know, and probably some left members too. So it's just, so Trump did not follow through on that promise whatsoever, and it, that continues to haunt him to yeah. this day. And you asked, you know, does it matter? So outside the deeply conservative people who pay attention to conservative news, do I think this is a motivating factor for swing voters? No, not really. I think, frankly, the concerns about Biden's um, age and mental fitness have so overshadowed everything else for your kind of normie voter, your person open to persuasion either way, that um, the the alleged corruption stuff doesn't matter as much. All right, stay with us. We've got lots more rising coming up after this.